What's the truth behind the legend of the notorious Slender Man? Welcome to Friday Night Ghost Frights from Haunted Road Media. I'm author and ghost story and Mike Ricksecker. Explore with us. The legend of Slender Man has taken on a life of its own. From a Photoshop project to occult following to horrific crimes to video games and movies. What's the real story behind this creepy character? Slender Man was created online in 2009 as part of a Photoshop contest thread in the Something Awful forums by Eric Knudsen under the username Victor Surge. The contest invited Uners to create paranormal images through Photoshop, and Surge posted two photos of a tall, shadowy figure haunting children at play. He gave the photos a small story and included with his submission a block of text that read, We didn't want to go. We didn't want to kill them. But his persistent silence and outstretched arms horrified and comforted us at the same time. 1983 photographer unknown, presumed dead. With a strong positive reaction to the photos, Serge continued to post new altered photographs and added to the story of what was now being called Slender Man. But now others on the forum began to submit their own photos and story elements as well. Slender Man is described as very tall, ranging 6 to 14 feet in height, and thin with a completely featureless white face, long arms, and tendrils or tentacles from his back, which he uses to catch his prey. He wears a dark suit and tie, and generally targets children. He's also supposed to have abilities in which he can read minds and teleport from one location to another. The myth and lore of Slender Man grew, his story encompassing hundreds of pages, and an internet urban legend was born. Slender Man inspired the popular Marble Hornets web series, a number of independent video games, found itself a prominent position on the popular creepypasta horror website, and became the subject of countless pieces of fan art. From the projected obscurity, a facelessness that breeds mystique, and with a storytelling vehicle that eliminates the fourth wall, Slender Man became the internet's boogeyman. The fate of his victims was also rather ambiguous and vague, fueling that mystique. In an ironic twist, however, this boogeyman more than lures children away and does them harm. Through the created lore, Slender Man was given a background in which he was bullied, something scores of children can relate to. So many of the children are willing to befriend the boogeyman and venture deep into the forest with him, much like a modern day Pied Piper. This could be, perhaps, how two girls from Wisconsin, Morgan Geyser and Anissa Weir, went too far into the fantasy world of Slender Man and tried to murder their friend, Peyton Bella Leitner, to win the affections of Slender Man. What's the address? Your emergency. You came upon a 12 year old female. She appears to be stabbed. She appears to be what? Stabbed. Stabbed? Correct. She says she's having trouble breathing. She said she was stabbed multiple times. Okay, sir, are you with her right now? Yes. Is she awake? She's awake. Is she um, breathing? Yeah, she's breathing. She said she can take shallow breath. She's alert. Okay, stay with her. We're sending the police department. They believed that by sacrificing their friend and murdering her, they could become proxies of Slender Man, his servants, and get to live at the Slender Mansion deep in the forest. After stabbing Peyton 19 times, Morgan and Anissa were picked up by police walking in the direction of Nicollet National Forest, where they believed the mansion stood. Fortunately, Peyton survived, although one knife blow came within only a millimeter of a major artery near her heart. Anissa was sentenced to 25 years to life with treatment in a state psychiatric institute. Morgan, who actually issued the blows to Peyton, was sentenced to 40 years to life, also with treatment in a state psychiatric institute. Eric Knudsen, the Slender Man creator, publicly expressed that he was deeply saddened by the tragedy in Wisconsin, while members of the creepypasta community held a 24-hour YouTube live stream to help raise money for Peyton. Even with the tragedy lurking in the shadows, 
A major motion picture about Slender Man was released in 2018, although it fizzled at the box office. The Slender Man myth seems to feed into what little we know about the mysterious shadow people that people have seen in real life. Tall, dark, and devoid of features, many of these mysterious entities seem to feed on fear, while others simply seem curious, just standing and staring at you in the most creepy way possible. Although eerily similar, shadow people do not whisk their victims away to the forest, nor do they keep human proxies at a mansion in the forest. Some people believe there may be a Slenderman Tulpa. A Tulpa is a type of supernatural entity that takes on the form of a character from legend and folklore and acts out that persona. It literally means manifestation. This concept originated in Tibet within early Buddhist texts about the ability to create a mind-made body and is the basis of the thought form. Some beliefs include human beings creating their own Tulpas purely from thought. So the idea exists that someone may have created their own Slender Man thought tulpa. Even if this concept were to be real and some sort of entity decided to take on the persona of Slender Man, this still would not be a real Slender Man as described in the internet folklore. The abilities of this tulpa would be restricted to the abilities of the entity creating the tulpa. So if it existed, it would be a mere shadow, excuse the pun, of Slender Man. When it comes down to it, there is no real Slender Man, no tall boogeyman with a white face lurking in the shadows. But you have to admire the creativity of a community coming together and creating their own urban legend. To learn more about Slender Man or other supernatural creatures, please check out our other videos off to the side. I'm Mike Ricksecker. Till next Friday night.